All right, guys, today I'm gonna show to you how to make extra crispy sweet potato fries in the air fryer. Today I'm gonna use the Kosori air fryer. We're gonna also compare if we should use cornstarch or not. It's gonna be spicy, it's gonna be sweet, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, so let's start with a couple of the sweet potato. The first thing is just simply to, to peel off. I think that the skin when we cook air fry in the air fryer, it's not that great. So in case of the sweet potato, so I, I prefer just to peel it off. Now I proceed with my lovely Japanese knife to cut this fry. I'm gonna cut the first potato a little bit smaller and thinner compared to the second one, it's just for testing. And the first one I'm gonna do without cornstarch. And the second one I'm gonna apply a layer of cornstarch to understand if the crispiness from the cornstarch is real or not. What do you think? comment down below before watching the end of this video. Now, as you can see, it's, it's really easy to, to cut. Just give it the classic French fries shape. And the second one is gonna be a, a little bit on the thicker side. So we expect to cook a little bit less the first potato rather than the second one. As always, in the description down below, you can check the ingredient. You can check also the procedure, the timing and the temperature. I will cook both fries. Let's jump now in the next step that would be to put in the water. Now, this is optional, I would say. I don't know if it gets a lot of advantage for the sweet fries, but I left in the salt water for about 20 minutes. Now, this is another crucial step in order to get the extra crispiness that we are looking for in this sweet potato fries, which is just pat it dry. You don't want to skip this step because this is one of the crucial steps to get the crispiness that we are looking for in sweet potato fries. So just take your time and pat it dry this uh, potato in order to get very, very dry uh, potato. Now, let's put it back in, in a bowl. And I really like to use a large bowl for one potato because this will allow me to shake and get a perfect coating whatever spice or whatever you know oil you want to apply. In this case, I'm using my extra virgin olive oil. This is in spicy olive oil that's like uh, infused into the spice, but you can use any oil you want. Just make sure that the smoke point is pretty high. I, as always, prefer extra virgin olive oil because you know, my Italian heritage and stuff, but um, please feel free to use whatever you like. Now, I preheated my a fryer for about five minutes at 350 and then I'm gonna place the sweet potato fries into the basket and as always we want to be sure that there is one single layer it the basket is not overcrowded because the steam that the potato release will create soggy fries so we want to make sure there is enough distance uh, very similar once we uh, deep fry right so we want to not drop too much the temperature so we want we don't want to crowd too much the, the pan same case for the air fryer in this case i'm cooking at 380 degrees fahrenheit for about 10 minutes this is the peak halfway through and as always halfway through we want to shake the basket make sure that again we place everything in one single nice layer so we allow the airflow to pass through the uh, potato and get like a uniform cooking now let's get to the second uh, potato what am i gonna do is I'm having a couple tablespoons of uh, cornstarch. I have half teaspoon of smoked paprika and half teaspoon of granulated garlic. Very easy. I like to put in a container with um, with a cover just like that. So in this case, I'm I can get a very uniform uh, coating. What do you think that the cornstarch will do? Do you think we'll get more crispy? I'm not sure. Let's check it out. Now, what I like to do, as you can see, I have a very uniform cornstarch, garlic, and paprika layer. I can put back into my bowl. This is the final pick for the uh, first potato. Looks good, smells amazing. Look at this, perfect cooked. Final cooking time is 13 minutes. So the last three minutes and 400 degrees. Now where they are hot, you can apply any spice that you want. So you can add salt. I just prefer to do like that, just out at the end of the process and any other spice otherwise will get too much burn and really it doesn't change uh, much and it's easier because you have one base uh, in this case I'm using a um, truffle salt I've just got fancy but you know you don't really need it I just I really love the uh, truffle salt it, it adds a, a profile flavor that is uh, very unique and super yummy 
Again, um, I like to use a big ball to shake it and create a uniform layer. Um, I love this rub, so I'm using this uh, Honey Habanero Smoky Rub. I love it. I really recommend you to check this out. And again, I add the half teaspoon each potato and I just shake it. So this is more or less uh, the product that we're gonna get. It's super yummy. Now, let's go back to the second potato. Just throwing the potato into the air fryer. This is my Kosori air fryer. It's the larger one, 5.8 quart. It's preheated, it's hot. So go back 380 degree for 10 minutes, the first part of the cooking. This is the peak halfway through. Looks good. I think the, the cornstarch what it has has a little bit of rubbery texture. In this case, I always recommend halfway through we spray a little bit of um, oil as well. I did the same for the first potato. And this is more or less, uh, you know, the peak. And we complete the cooking at 400 degree F for at least five minutes in this case because the potato is thicker. So that's what we want to do. Now, let's check it out how it looks like. They look like really good. And if you want to have that more like fry feeling, just spray a little bit of oil at the end of the cooking. All right, so let's try the both version. First one without cornstarch. Mm. I really like the coating. It's sweet, it's spicy. I use a lot of smoky honey habanero rub. I think it's delicious, it goes very well with chicken others. This is delicious, guys. Now, let's try the second one with the cornstarch. Let's see if it's really a legend or not that using the cornstarch makes extra crispy. Hmm. I would say definitely is a legend. Um, it doesn't make any extra crispiness. Actually, it is better the first version than the second version. So I would say, you know, save the calories, don't use cornstarch, go with the first recipe and go definitely with the first wrap. Hey, I'm dropping here a couple of box. You can see some air fryer recipes, you can see some reviews, some tips and tricks for you to get the best out of your fryer. And please, I'm leaving here also a box for you to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next.